Eggs has been always part of us, like, as in Asian cuisine. You know. We use eggs as a complement to our noodles. We put eggs in everything, like mee goreng, prata, rojak. So in our food, there's eggs. We use eggs on all our set menu. As you know, nasi lemak, one of the basic ingredients is fried eggs. For months, will be 9,000 eggs. Two to 300 eggs a day. 4,005 eggs in total per month. Yeah, I'm pretty shocked, but yeah, <laughs> we are here, we Today, we just welcome another batch of 23,000 day old chicks from SFA accredited breeder farms. So, every month, we will welcome one batch of chickens into our farm. I'm checking the chicks' condition, or the feathers, the legs, and their reaction. It's quite smooth and considered good. But because we do the vaccine for these chicks, so it's green color. After I check the cheese, I'll put the cheese into the cage. Our government set a big goal to produce 30% of our nutritional needs by 2030. It is challenging, but we must act now and not later on when we need more food. Eggs are one of the most nutritious food on earth and definitely one of the most affordable form of protein available. Eggs are also very versatile and it can be used widely in many cuisines. So it makes sense for us to include eggs in part of the, our 30 by 30 vision. Eggs are the few main food types, staples to Singaporeans, where most of us consume. It's also about strategically targeting at food types, where we think in Singapore we have a good chance of producing it in scale. In the new farm, we are hiring more high technology, for example, in our old farm, we have about 52 houses. And moving into our new farm, we only have about 26 houses. Okay, so this is our cage-free layer system. There are about 25,000 birds inside this house. Let me show you how they live. Please watch your way when you are going. So as you can see, the birds have the room to move around vertically and horizontally. So over here, we have automated feeding system and also drinking system. The egg collections and also the manual belt system is automated as well. So we do not need a lot of manpower inside this house to manage it. You may be wondering what's behind the orange curtain. That's actually where the chicken lay the eggs. Let me show you. Birds like very dark environment where they feel very secure so that they can lay their eggs in a very peace of mind. So after they lay the eggs, then they will come out, then the next birds will go in. We are expecting about 22,000 eggs to be laid every day. Normally, the hens will start laying between like 8 a.m. up to like about 2 p.m. 
So this is the period where they lay. So we have to arrange our workers to be ready to pick the eggs once the eggs are laid. Okay, as you may realize, why are the hands are keep on packing on my yellow color boots? It's because the color of my boots look the same as the color of the feet. So they keep on packing on it, they thought it's the food. It's fully automated. In this control panel, we are able to see the temperature, the humidity, the air ventilations of the house. Other than that, we are also able to see the feed consumption on that day and also the water consumption at that day. Our workers just need to go to the control panel to do some adjustment and we are able to manipulate the environment of the house. Automation is important. Our egg farms are probably the most technology advanced. And most people don't realise this, but in the 70s, Singapore's poultry farming was considered amongst the most advanced in the world. With the support from Agriculture Productivity Fund, we invested in this state-of-the-art egg grading, sorting and packaging machines. These machines have the capacity to grade up to 190,000 eggs per hour. This is more than double of our old farm's capacity. We have this egg inspection. Over this egg inspection, any dirty eggs and leaking eggs will be detected over here. Then, it will go through the orientator. What this orientator will do is, it will orientate all the eggs so that all the air cells will be facing in one direction to maximize the freshness. Then we have this crack detector, where as small as a hairline crack will be detected over here before it moves to the next QC check. Over here, we will have the UV disinfection, so all the UV ray will kill all the microorganisms on the surface of the shell. Then, it will be weighted and graded according to their size and sent to the respective lane. Normally for the supermarket's item, right, we will pack it in a pack of 10. So for those, we use the plastic trays. And for the one in the 30S, that which we sell it to the F&B market, we sell it to the wholesaler, we will normally use the egg trays in the paper form. Land constraint and manpower shortage are definitely two of the most common challenges that every farmer faces in Singapore. But other than that, we also face the challenges of like higher production costs as compared to the imported eggs. Higher production costs also means that we have to sell our eggs at a higher price as compared to some of the imported eggs. This is something that not all the consumers understand and able to accept. Eggs is a simple commodity that all of us can recognise. In Singapore, we've got three local farms. But do you know that we do not control the eggs that are imported as well? Uh, because SFA wanted to ensure that we have got the luxury of choice, different countries and all that. But recently, because there's so much of imported eggs, right, there's been the stories in the press that you are throwing away eggs because eggs has short shelf life. So we have asked some of the local farms before, hey, if we do not import eggs, do we have enough eggs? You know, are we able to give you enough mileage and say, can our chickens actually produce enough eggs? And the answer is yes. Our new farm has the capacity to produce up to 1 million eggs per day. During the pandemic, it's like a wake-up call for all Singaporeans to realise the importance of our national food security. Because we can't just increase our production within a day or years. It's a very long-term goal for Singapore. 